Child. Girl. Romeo, 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 where art thou? Romeo. <laughs> Girl. Well, I know I've been uh, absent. But child, let me tell y'all. Well, before we get into the things, other things of those things, okay? Um, if you haven't done so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to go a step further, I humbly ask that you tap that notification bell. That way you'll be updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. Also, follow me on Instagram at YB Speaks, okay? Period. Um, so, child, I just gotta give, you know, all the things so we'll understand the thing that we're talking about, right? So y'all, you know, have been following me with this whole journey. You know, my nephew is going off to college, right? <laughs> So not only was I in this long ass battle with financial aid, because when you deal with incompetence and a bitch named Mildred, <laughs> okay, just know that the process is going to be slow as a motherfucker. Okay. Please just know that. Please, financial aid and a bitch named Mildred. Okay. Just know. Girl. So finally got all of that taken care of. That is done. Okay. Financial aid has been approved. We're waiting on the award to post. Hello, God. So all of that's taken care of. Child, I had a time. I had to go to the IRS. Girl, let me tell y'all about these people. For a month, I've been trying to get a hold of somebody. Because uh, he needed non-filing letters to prove that he didn't make any income um, or he didn't work at all. So the school only asked for 2021. I was like, girl, we just gonna go ahead and get 2022 and 2023. Hello, God. Because we don't have time for this bullshit. Girl, the incompetence, the foolishness of it all that I had to endure. Girl. Now, I have been to college many, many times. <laughs> okay, like period, girl. Like, eight classes away from achieving my degree. Um, that's an another story for another day. But I've, I know this process. And it is supposed to be seamless. Right? Very seamless. But because there are extenuating circumstances here, I, again, we already established, I knew, I was aware that this process might be a little bit more messy and shaky, girl. But nonetheless, it would work out as it has. At the last fucking moment of life, it, it happened, you know? <laughs> but it happened nonetheless. All right? So I wasn't really stressed out because I knew that once everything was cleared up, we were going to be smooth sailing. But, again, dealing with this since, like, April. Girl. Ridiculous. And, again, they messed up so much on their end at the, at the school, the financial aid department. They messed up so much. This could have been solved months ago. Okay? So, the IR, back to the IRS. So, this is the last piece of documentation that's needed required in this I've been trying to get a hold of it for a month. Girl, finally get a hold. Because they don't, you can't just do walk-ins. You have to call the IRS appointment setup line. Hello, God. And they have to schedule your appointment that way. I could never get a hold of anybody on the phone to set an appointment to save my life. No matter what time of day I was calling. Girl, finally felt like I got a hold of a person. All for these people to tell me, oh, there's, I can't give you any information. I can't look up taxes. I can't, you know, do it. Basically, I'm just an operator that can't operate shit. Girl, what I mean, I read her for filth. I said, so why are our taxpayer dollars paying for a null and void, hello gone, position? Your existence is meaningless let's just tell the truth why are you even here again wasting taxpayer dollars if you can't perform hello god any type of functions you're 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 as useless as the automated systems these days girl let's tell the truth why are you here there's no reason you should be here again wasting i'm gonna keep reiterating that wasting taxpayer dollars and let's just ask this question why can't we ever get a hold of anybody down to the irs because i know i'm not the only one I've been hearing these stories for years, and I've even had to deal with it a couple of times when I was filing my taxes, girl. Girl, please wait until you got all your tax documents, because doing an amendment is a motherfucker. In that waiting game, girl, I'm just telling you, girl, let me tell you, these people never answer the phone. And when they do, why is it that you end up experiencing phone, hello God, technical difficulties, bitch? I finally reached a person that can help me set the appointment, right? And my phone starts gurgling and shit, like it's possessed. Girl, no. No, look kitty. <laughs> Little kitty. <laughs> girl. That's a House of the Dragon reference for the girls that know that know, honey. Okay, little kitty. Like, bitch. Not today, girl. Not today. Serve, bitch. I was, girl, I was over it. So finally got the handle. Girl, let me tell you something. This is how I know the enemy just be busy, girl, trying to play you in the background of life, girl. And, and the spirits, I know, just be laughing. Like, ooh, girl. Pull up to the IRS office. I parked in a garage one side of the garage said valet parking only the other side well, had no signage and i didn't see anything that said we had to pay to park so i walk up to the door there's a, a valet guy there and um he says oh I, he was like oh what are you? and i'm thinking he's trying to be helpful oh what are you guys here for oh the irs um the tax building oh it's on the you know the whatever floor i'm like okay thank you he's like oh by the way it's eight dollars to park there i looked at his motherfucking ass and i was like um 
the other side says that like only this side has no signage oh but it's all the same thing okay um you, it's early in the morning i'm already pissed as hell that i have to no one likes to do go down to the dmv no one likes to go down to the courthouse no one likes to go handle that type of business girl especially you, have, you know you got to do it early in the morning you know you got to do it early in the morning and i'm fresh off of work who the hell are you talking to so i looked at his motherfucking ass and i said for real i said you <laughs> girl i gave him a nasty piece of two on food regards said you swayed back because he was cuban girl and no disrespect girl but let's tell the truth when i'm reading i really don't give a fuck okay i said listen to me you swayed back for a world bitch <laughs> i said the only reason your motherfucking existence is, is, is even here at the moment in time is because castro decided to cast y'all motherfuckers up out of that bitch okay girl i know i was all kinds of wrong but whatever girl i was mad as hell in the moment he looked at me and i was like oh. he was like well your car stays here it's gonna get towed girl let me tell you something if my car gets towed i'm gonna drag you back to your motherfucking place of birth bitch keep playing around with me i don't give a fuck about no wet foot dry foot ass shit nigga the fuck anyway girl I moved my car, obviously. <laughs> I had no choices. I'm not gonna have my shit towed. And I don't know how long these cunts are gonna take. You know what I'm saying? We already know when you're doing official business, girl. <laughs> girl, these whole the county workers, fucking government employees, y'all move slow as hell, just like fucking Mildred, bitch. Over it. So, girl, long story short, we get to the damn um place. We meet with one of the tax people, girl. He says, oh, and he, he he's getting the documents prepared. And he's supposed to go on the speech about, like, you know how they tell you, well, you know, you could have found these resources online. You could have called and they would have sent them to you in the mail. I looked at his motherfucking ass and I waited patiently. I waited patiently. Let me tell you, girl. I waited patiently until he was done and the paperwork was in our motherfucking hands. When I tell you no lie, girl, I ran down on his motherfucking ass. Jacaris, bitch. I said, let me explain. I said, sir, you work for the IRS. He's like, obviously I do. <laughs> he started <laughs> like he was smarter than me. I said, well, then you must know on their website, right? What the fuck? Why am I so bad? Far back. I said, you must know on their website, it's when you try to sign up for an account because you don't think I thought, every, uh, thought of every other possible faster alternative, bitch. On your website, it states, if you're 18 years old, you cannot create an online IRS portal. But you work for the IRS and you're aware of all of their shit, right? It says a big disclaimer. And calling you motherfuckers, honey, when I tell you that I have quicker, more direct access to speak to the fucking ancestors, bitch, than I do trying to get a hold of a live individual down to the IRS where my tax pay dollars go for a bitch not to even answer the phone that we pay for. Y'all sit here and, girl, let me tell you something. Y'all be quick to snatch a hoe's money. But when it's the time to talk about some shit, girl, please. Girl, I was over it. Like, And I felt like, don't you? Ooh, this is the wrong time to do that. This is the wrong time to poke the bear, bitch. Girl, I, I, girl. So all that's done, finally. Um, and other things, and other news. Um, black people, girl, we need to start being a little more organized. We need to start being a little bit more communicative, girl. Um... So my nephew was supposed to leave, from my knowledge, he was from what was told to me, he was supposed to be leaving Friday morning, this past Friday morning. That did not happen. We found out Thursday night that they weren't supposed to be moving in until the 5th or the 6th. Girl, please, we find out Saturday evening on a Zoom call with these hoes that basically the move-in is before like the 24th or some shit. So you're telling me that we done packed up all this shit, got, my, got, got the front of my apartment looking like San, the front y'all to Sanford and some bitch, okay? And then y'all don't even have the, the apartments, girl, girl, the apartments are not even furnished. So I gotta buy shit for the apartment now. Girl, what is in the ghetto trash? What is going on here? They don't even have their lease ready yet. They don't have nothing ready yet. But we get on a Zoom call and say, oh, now we done did all of our shit. Well, the last thing I need to do for him is get him some type of health insurance. Girl, when they say stuff is supposed to be easy, it, it really don't be that easy. Like signing up for like trying to get him some free health care should not be difficult. He's 18, he's a student, he has no job. So they, they should be able to give him some Obamacare. Girl, I've been, been twisted and turned so damn many times. It's, it's, just, it's so irritating. Things that are supposed to be straightforward, you, you apply, you either you know, get approved or not, or they have some type of meeting or on the phone meeting or whatever to hear your situation or whatever, approve or deny. Like, why am I being sent around the goddamn globe for something as basic as health insurance? Girl, please. Because he needs it, you know, for the, obviously athletic departments require, you know, their athletes to have health insurance. So that's really the last thing, but all the money has been paid, all the, all the things are thinging, okay? But it's on you bitches. You guys are not doing your fucking jobs. And I feel like it's really unprofessional and it's, it's really fucking ghetto and classless to sit here and try to gaslight and work the parents, bitch. And y'all ain't taking responsibility for your own actions. Because you have one coach saying, oh, I thought y'all motherfuckers was here already. What are you talking about? So you're openly admitting that you're not communicating with your other people as well as you're not even aware of where your players are. How can I trust you with my child? <laughs> Bitch. How do you expect parents to feel confident in you and you say one thing, you think, oh, I thought they were already here. Wait, well, how long did you think they were here for? Because if that's the case and you haven't communicated or checked up with them, or even the parent for that matter, and you know what kills me too? Mildred and these coaches, at, at the times where it's convenient to point the finger, they want to claim your kid, your 18-year-old, as grown. They need to be doing their job. But then on the other hand, y'all be saying, oh, they're, they're still young adults, they're still young kids or whatever, they're still learning. So what is it? 
Oh, no, let me explain something to you. Just like I told that bitch Mildred, and I, and I, and I want to tell these goddamn coaches, that's only convenient for you when you don't want to, you, you know you fucked up, you know you lack in communication, you know you lack in, 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 in order and function. You don't want to take responsibility for your shit. Hello, let's tell the truth. And you, don't, you know the parent because we are all knowing, hello God. Because we know how this process should, you know, what it should look like. All of the stuff that I have a grievance for should have been handled at the very least 30 days ago. But if we want to tell the truth to be ultra professional, like right when we started getting into summer. You can't be doing last minute shit with people who have to plan accordingly to make sure that their kids are able to make the trip, that they can be transported. And again, making us feel confident that all of the beginning shit is taken care of. The only time we get a call in text is when a fee got to be paid. That's the only time there's communication. But when I'm asking y'all for moving dates, or I'm asking y'all for um, specifics on shit, y'all motherfuckers act like, oh, it's up, to your it's up to your child to be tr translating information to you. No, you need to translate it to us. What else are these fucking Zoom calls for? Other, other than you wasting people's time. So when I, my message is, black folks, let's do better because I have experienced this like across the board since I've been in the parent role lately, you know? I... Damn, even with the high school shit. Like, girl, like, what? Where, where's common sense at? When it comes to this kind of shit right here, you want to yell at the players and talk about order and um, time management and, you know, blah, 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 character building, integrity, and all this other shit, right? Leadership. Girl, I lose all faith in all of you grown-ass niggas sitting here talking all that bullshit to the players, but you don't exemplify the shit you're preaching about. So fuck that shit. Sorry. And my Capricorn nature is really strong. I don't deal well with, dis with shit that's being in disarray dysfunction girl i don't i don't do messy shit i'm very orderly on how i do i can be a messy bitch <laughs> hello god hey girl i just wanted to let you girls know that i'm a real messy bitch a liar a scammer i love robbery and fraud i'm a messy bitch who lives for drama but i prefer order over chaos and again i don't like last minute shit especially shit that needs to be planned for ahead of time that's not a local school So, I don't know, um, but definitely before the, before the 24th, I believe, so maybe another week, um, but I was like, damn, y'all just prolonging my suffering, because I was already getting out my depression, <laughs> I'm not getting out, but I was already starting the moment, hello, you know, and trying to reconcile the fact that this was actually happening, now all of you, you know, all y'all did was prolong my suffering, and you lost my confidence in you. Girl, I know I'm sweating like a whore in church, honey, child, uh, like a sinner being baptized, bitch. But let me tell you something, girl. Literally overdid it on the pre-workout. I've been working out like a motherfucker this weekend. I don't know how I gained some weight, but because I've been killing myself in the gym. Someone said don't worry about it because you've been lifting a lot more. Um, and I always attribute certain weight gains to, you know, okay, you're gaining muscle. But girl, I don't know. And I'm not going to lie, I haven't been the healthiest eater lately, but I've definitely been low-key watching what I eat and how much I consume. So I don't know. Um... I was supposed to do a cleanse this month, um, really, but that's not going like I wanted to go. I'm still going to do it, though. Uh, I'm not going to wait for the next month, so I'm just probably going to go grocery shopping this weekend and just get a bunch of shit to cleanse, because i got to lose this weight, girl. Fuck that. <sighs> My weekend was pretty good. Um, shit. So, remember the, the, the talker? You know, the one who released onto thine chest, girl, and I was done with his ass? Well, after three, four weeks of him just texting me and begging, girl, basically begging, because there were times I wasn't even responding to him. And <laughs> when I tell you no lie, I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and do what Trey be doing to the, you know, to the bottoms out here, child. Let's go. We done build your hopes up. You done latched on even when we've basically let you know that we really don't give a fuck. And I know that sounds so messed up, but I can now see, like, what why trade was doing what they was doing, girl. You kind of, like, possess that person in a way, you know? I mean, you know your sex is good, but is it that good to where someone would really allow you to ghost them? And then you finally do decide to reply and say, yeah, I'm, I'm in the mood to clap those cheeks, nigga. What? That's the ultimate disrespect, don't you think? And I feel kind of bad for doing it, but there is this, like, ugh, this, <sighs> this weird sense of control and power and dominance that comes over you when, when you realize that a person, like, lusts over you sexually to the point where they will allow themselves to like beg for it girl when i tell you i laid that motherfucking pussy out the pasture bitch okay knock that motherfucker out the flame bitch two fucking hours well there was a break i had to take a couple of breaks girl because 
Who when I tell you? Honey, I was waxing on and waxing off Mr. Miyagi, honey, on that motherfucking ass, bitch. <clears throat> yes, honey. Hmm. Wore his ass out, honey. He was just like, oh my God, oh my God, I missed this. And then he was just so like, and I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, I was so big, I was so betrayed, God, I was so with masculinity. Yes, God, honey. Girl, I can't take myself sometimes. And no, I know a lot of y'all like, you just be right here joking with this shit. No, like I, it's just funny to see me here. If you know me, you know why I laugh at this. You know why I talk about it. Like, it's so weird. Like, and this is another thing, like, don't ever say what you won't do in this life. Because now I'm breaking all my own, you know, past rules and regulations, girl. You know, I say don't knock it till you try it like that. And I do love it. That's the space that I'm in. Because like I said before, girl, tops ain't shit. And everybody around here want dick anyway. Even the tops ain't tops no more, girl. Let's just tell the truth. And that's another thing, too. There's, like, nothing. There's no, there's no fucking, everyone is experiencing dick or wants to experience dick. It just is what it is. Actually, the other dude that I've been, like, really, like, fucking on, that dude, um, his profile, when we first started linking up, said that he was a top. But when I show up, you're on some submissive ass shit. You want me to be, a, be your dom and shit like that. Girl, that's cool. But y'all be misrepresenting yourselves and your profiles. I'm seeing, I see a lot of that. And I see a lot of profiles with these supposed tops talking about some, oh, I wouldn't mind letting a dude fuck me. Or I wouldn't mind sucking a dick. Girl, you been doing that. You ain't coming to, you ain't coming to grind or jack, girl, on some, you know, no. You been doing this, girl. Don't act like it's something you just now want to try. Shut the fuck up. Girl, I don't know who be believing, y'all. I'm not a fool. I don't really give a fuck, but tell the truth, though. You know what I mean? And now that I'm in the space, I'm glad I'm not a full bottom no more because, like, it would really piss me. I know bottoms are upset, and how I know they're upset is when y'all hit up. Hit, when I was a bottom too, y'all would just hit me up too. Oh, hey, you wanna play? Girl, what are we gonna do? Be bumping pocketbooks, bitch? What are we gonna do? Scissor each other, hoe? A double sided dildo, girl? Like, what are we gonna do with each other, girl? That's how you know. Ain't no real tops out here. And then when other bottoms got a foot in their profile, real tops only, bitch. Strict tops only. That's how you know the pickings is slim, girl, when it comes to tops. I don't think full tops exist anymore like that. Again, it could just be proximity, but I've been hearing this across the board, girl. You know, y'all know I got homegirls in Houston and in Dallas, Atlanta. Hello. New York. I hear this across the board, girl. <coughs> and shout out to the, um, to the trans girls. Let me tell y'all something, honey. The boys are really living for y'all these days. Back in the day, not so much, but I definitely got to give y'all y'all props. I see a lot of dudes on these um, these little um, apps, girl. They're seeking y'all out. They only want TS. TS only. Fem sissies only, girl. You have to act and talk like a woman. All of that shit. Heels and panties and all that shit, girl. Yes, honey. <clears throat> treating y'all girls like the prison daddies be treating the girls up there in, in that bitch. Smearing Kool-Aid on your motherfucking hair, girl, to dye that bitch. And your lips to make lipstick, girl. Hello, God. <laughs> Hello, God. The niggas is living for y'all, girl, these days. I'm here for it, though. Because back in the day, it wasn't like that. It was not like that, girl. So now you gotta either like present as woman, girl, or hear her roar, bitch, or hear her, you know, suck and clap at those cheeks for daddy. You know? You know how many times I've been approached? Hey, would you mind putting on a wig? Hey, would you mind shaving your mustache? Hey, would you mind wearing, you know, panties and shit? Hey, would you mind, girl? No, I'm too big for all that. <laughs> girl, let's just tell the truth, girl. I really like Godzilla, bitch, in a motherfucking dress. Girl, you crazy as hell. Uh uh. You can take that to Miss Thing Thing, <laughs> bitch, Miss Langley, Miss Langley, or Miss Thing Thing. You can take that to Miss Thing Thing, honey, because that ain't me. In the words of Aya Stock, that ain't me. Bitch, period, girl. Tell the truth. Hmm. And I just need that, that kind of honesty to, like, <sighs> vibrate more boldly. Girl, I remember back in the day, I was tricked, girl. I was gooped, girl. I thought he was straight, girl. And then daddy said, um, he wanted me to eat his ass. And let me tell y'all this too. I gotta, well, let's talk about this for a quick second too. I'll probably tell that story in another moment in time. But I want to be completely honest with y'all real quick. If you want your cakes to be feasted upon, girl, hello, God. I'm too close to this car. Why do these big ass fucking cars park like this, bro? Because I'm always scared some raggedy bitch is going to run in. Like, you know how they be oh, just like, throwing their door open like they don't see another car there, girl? I just don't have time for that. So I'm going to park somewhere else, child. But yeah, girl, if you want your cakes to be feasted upon, girl, I'm going to need y'all to clean thine booty holes, okay? Let me tell you, this goes for the, the supposed tops, with air quotes. <laughs> Bitch, this goes for... Honey, go ahead. No, you do. Go ahead. Yeah, I want your parking spot, honey. That's just on period. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need y'all girls to um. Yeah, I want your parking spot. I'm gonna need y'all girls to clean my booty hole. That's just really what the fuck that is, though. Let's tell the truth. Actually, I can park right here. It's really not that serious. Yeah, clean, clean thine booty holes, girl. And I keep repeating it purposely because it just seems like it, you would think that, right? Do I look like an? Don't even assume that I'm a person is into scat packs, girl. Don't even. I'm talking about the car. Hello. Don't assume for a fucking second that someone wants to taste, smell. You should, cause you're you don't want that, right? Let me just tell the truth. There's a very small community of the girls who are into scat packs. So my thing is this, though, like. I don't even advertise that I do that, you know what I mean? Especially back then when that was kind of like real foreign territory for me. But like certain dudes, you know, they just fine. And you're just like, girl, I'm gonna do anything you say, daddy. You know, you know when you're a young, dumb, submissive cunt, you know what I mean? Trey tells you to do anything and everything. You're gonna do any and everything, period. So, girl, I went to go eat. And all I could do was throw up because, girl, like, clean yourself. Because the little white, the, the guy I was talking about earlier, um... The one who's been begging hello guy for the cocketh. He just talks too fucking much. I'm like, girl, shut the fuck up already. You know? Like, nobody has time for all that. We know why we're here. And then at the end of his long fucking conversation, he's like, oh, you don't care. He's European. You don't care about that. You're just here to fuck me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're on the same fucking page, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> he can suck a fucking dick, though. I can tell you that, man. Oh, child. Ugh. Girl. And I got him back for that, you know, when he released onto the child, onto my chest. So he was trying to, you know, release. I just heard, I, man, I was thrusting so good in that thing, honey. I just pulled it out and nut it all over his fucking, on his chest, basically. And he, he lays there and he like locked his legs a certain way over mine and, and where I couldn't. He's like, oh, I cannot move. You got to give me a second. I said, I got to go. <laughs> I've already been here for two fucking hours, nigga. I'm tired, I'm hungry as fuck at this point. Child, okay. You still trying to have conversation? I'm ready to go. He's a cool guy, though. He just, he just overshares. Like, this is a... I don't, you know... And I don't ever give off the energy that I'm here for conversation. Like, if that's the case, pour me a fucking drink, bitch, you know? You got a beautiful home, so let's let's sit down on these expensive-ass leather chairs, bitch. Hello, God. That you got, girl. And, and let's, 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 let's drink, okay? Like, other than that, I'm ready to get in my car, light a cigarette... Reminisce on the fucking great awakening that I just applied to that motherfucking pussy bitch, hello God, okay? And then as I'm leaving, he's like, you can't do that to me anymore. When you do stuff like that to me, you wonder why I'm always calling you. I don't want nobody else but you in that way. He was like, can you blame, can you blame a girl, basically, for, for wanting to, for, I'm like, I get it, but dude, like, I still couldn't just tell him straight up, you talk too fucking much. Because I'm not gonna lie, the sex is amazing. The sex is good. And like I said, honey, daddy can blow a pipe like a... <laughs> like he a girl. And let's talk about this real quick before I go into the gym. I think there's something to be said about, like... Because the dude I'm dealing with, he's a couple years older than me. The other dude that I deal with, he's probably, like, in his late 30s, maybe early 40s. Um, I, I've noticed something. Those type of men, they have experience. Experience. And you can tell that they're gay you can tell that they're not trying to play a role you can tell these men are actually gay when i tell you these two men and why specifically they've remained on my roster is because they don't view sex as some simple nonchalant activity they are really into pleasing really really into pleasing when i tell you both of these dudes i have at the very least an hour session with them at the most with them it's been two to three hours yeah because they don't, they're not looking for instant gratification. Oh, when I tell you all the accoutrement is out there, the papels, the toys, girl, the lube, girl, the, the plugs, girl, that, like, it's all out, girl. It's all out. Anything that I desire in the, in, for pleasure, they provide. And they're always asking, is there more that you want to do? And if things that come to mind, I will let you know. I love people that their, their aim is to serve. And that's what sex really is, a service, girl, to your countrymen, girl, period, girl. That's what it's about, girl. Like, why else get on your knees to please? Why else let someone bang your back out? It's not supposed to be some instant thing. If you're going to lay down with someone, it, I, I don't even call it sex. I call it the experience. The experience of it all. I don't look, and, and even if it's just for oral. I don't, people say, oh, just come eat, eat suck with it. Um, I don't believe in sucking dick, honey. I make love. You should be making love. Even if it's, I know people say, well, what if it's just a, a random or a one nice thing? Girl, you put your all into it. Because even if you don't deal with that person ever again, it's like they're always going to think about that moment in time with your motherfucking ass. 
Always, bro. They will always remember you. I've had too many niggas in my life, and now I got bottoms in my life who hit me back up later. Oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? Or whatever. You know you're doing a good job. You, you're like, yeah, nigga, I know what's up. Even when I was bottoming like that, you, you put your all into that shit. You put your back into that shit. Even if it's just for one night only, girl. Shout out to the dream girls. Even if it's for one night only. And play certain music, too. I've had plenty of trades in the back and even the bottoms. Oh, you got me, and I'll come back later. They, they playing the music that I played while we were doing it. Oh, you got me, you turned me on to this. Like, oh, I know I did. You're going to forever remember. When that song plays, nigga, wherever you are in this life, you will remember me. Hello. You will remember the moment that we shared. And you will know who the real king and queen truly are. The heirs <laughs> to the iron sex throne, <laughs> bitch. Period. The king and queen of the Andals and the First Man, of the Seven Kingdoms, bitch. First of my name. Huh. Haven't all y'all niggas been in the fucking need to serve your king? Period. Because let me tell you something. When these, when these little younger ones hit me up, these, you know, even the ones my age, a little bit younger than me, oh, um, car shit. They want to do car shit. Like, I really, these are the only two dudes that I've been fucking with for, for a while now. I haven't been doing no, nothing else, and it's only on weekends now. I've calmed down a lot because I've realized... I, I can't, mm -mm. first of all, I don't need to be out here like that. <laughs> okay, period. Um, even though I've already been out here like that, I just, you know, I found the two that we have at least the sexual connection, and it's consistent. Both of these people I've done at the very least 10 or more times. I think about 10. Yeah, it's been, it's been, yeah. And I've cut every, I don't, I don't really be, no. I'm cool with these two because they both know what they're doing, and they like doing it. But let's tell the truth, I think people out here to suck a dick to suck dick. That's why it's not good, because you really don't want to do it. You're just doing it because you, it's expected of you. I don't want nobody doing anything they really aren't. You can tell. If you, ain't, you can tell a bitch you ain't passionate about eating that wood, girl. You can tell a bitch you ain't passionate about taking that, you know, that pounding, girl. You can tell a person who's not passionate about certain stuff. Body language is everything, girl. If that person's not, if you don't feel that energy coming from them, I just stop. I'm like, girl, I ain't got time for this. Like, you don't, mm-mm. Because -mm. there are times I just want to get a little, you know, a little neck real quick, hold on. And y'all niggas talking about how, you know, y'all can do this, that, and the third, and make a spike can disappear in, your mouth, in the mouth, girl. And y'all can't even make a tootsie roll disappear in your mouth, girl. Period. Bitch, the fuck wrong with y'all? Y'all have no, yeah. You know, Y'all be out here lying. So I'm good with the two that I've been dealing with because they've proven themselves and I've proven myself. And um, I know I gotta kind of like get out of that mind frame that I was talking about earlier in the video, just about the dominance and control of it all. But there, for me, it's only on the sexual level. Like that's one of my, one of my things. That's one of my things. I don't really walk in that like in my everyday life. I just find it to be a, a turn on. That's something that turns me on is when, you know, like I ain't gonna lie, I had this little, um, experience when I was trying, you know, different things out. Um, I think I told y'all about the cross-dresser um, cunt that I ended up wearing the fuck out in her hotel room, girl. And before we met up, um, very pretty. I think I told y'all about her. Very pretty, just, ooh, just great skin, all the things. So, before we were meeting up, we were, like, FaceTiming, and he, she, you know, because he, he, she didn't identify as trans, just like a cross-dresser. He was like, do you want me as a man, or do you want me to look like a woman? And I was like, I found myself, like, because femininity doesn't really turn me on, but I thought about it. It didn't turn me on when I was in the bottom row. But there's something about femininity that does turn me on now that I'm doing the top shit. Again, masculinity is domineering, while femininity is more submissive. I know that's controversial. A lot of people don't like to hear that, but that's a very real truth that I think we just need to settle on, okay? And so, I said, you know what? Yeah. Let me see. Try on some clothes for me. <laughs> Girl, I felt like a pimp, bitch. I was like, I want to see you as a woman. Dude, I want to see you get dressed and try on stuff for me and I'll approve it. Girl, I felt like Christian Grey. Ha, <laughs> bitch. I felt like Christian Grey, girl. Hello, God. If you, shout out to the um, Fifty Shades of Grey, bitch. So, he, she, <laughs> thought that was so sexy. All right, daddy, I got you. Mm, mm -hmm, I know you do. <laughs> bitch. So, trying on different shit. And so, I put the outfit together. I was like, oh, I want to see you in this type of thong. I want to see you in these type of heels. And I want to see you, you know, do your little shit, the different wigs and shit that I approved. Um... Building my fantasy, basically, you know? And now, mind you, I don't have any real reference point because this is my first time even about to embark on this journey. <laughs> this journey of discovery, bitch. Okay? So, I need a cigarette. This is gonna be a long... Y'all say y'all like long videos, so here you go. So, girl. I say... All right, do that little... Do that little thing. Like, do that little spin thing. You know how daddy likes it. Girl, I was just... That shit was turning me on. And, okay. And just bending over, showing me the outfit, the heels. Girl, them long-ass fucking heels. That shit was so sexy to me. And it was at that moment I knew I was like, okay. So I could see myself being attracted. This bitch had smooth, no hair. Smooth, nice fucking ass bitch. Like, a, like, ooh, it was just a lot. And serving up woman vibes, fish vibes, right? And I was like, all right, I, this is this is the tea. So we finally met up. And when I tell you, that was some of the best sex I ever had in my life. And just the way 
I was just dominating and just that bitch was loving it and I was loving it and it was just really good. And it was at that moment I realized like, okay, like I think I could see myself, you know, with trans and, and even women. So, yeah. I know y'all like, bitch, what? <laughs> Girl, that shit kind of like it does. It really does. So I think now maybe just a top verse, a verse top or a top. Actually, just just go, no, no labels, girl. I'm just going to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Stevie. Okay. Really, I kind of told that person, too. I was like, you should just, like, do the trans thing because, like, you're really beautiful. Like, you're, there's no real masculine features like that. Like, you're, you're you basically could be, you know, a trans woman, honey. Like, you might as well. And how I can tell that, you know, most cross have those, like, you know, Sally's Beauty Supply wigs, girl. Okay. This bitch had full-on, like, lace front type vibes. Like, it was really cute. And not that cheap rainbow clothing, girl. We're talking about some really nice shit. Like, <laughs> you know, Victoria's Secrets and, you know, all the things, girl. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like sex with more feminine people is a lot better because they know what femininity is. See, when you, this is what you talked about earlier, Trade wanted his bougie cat eight. But see, we know Trade don't clean up. That's too, that's too feminine for trade. It's, they got to remain masculine at all times, even when it comes to bathing by an ass, okay? Which is so disgusting. Femininity, that's why you hear a lot of tops, like real tops, they'll say, I only want fems, I only want punks, I only want sissies. You know why? They know that they're going to be clean. They know how to clean themselves. I want a true bottom, which means they know a true... If you sign up for the task with daddy for the night, he know your booty cat is going to be cleaned out, girl. He knows that you're going to come with the tea. And also, he likes to dominate femininity, period. So I, I think, like, even, like, these two dudes, like, the other dude that I mess with, um, he's masculine presenting, but he's very submissive. He's not feminine at all. At all. But he's very submissive, and he caters to the desires of his king. <laughs> Bitch. Hello, God. And the other one, he's... He's European, so... In my opinion, all European men come off a little sassy, a little, little you know, a little sissy, you know? Um, they claim it, they, they blame it on their Oxford education. But girl, we all know a lot of y'all out there are pillar princesses. I done seen all the British porn girl and all that shit, girl. Y'all are, y'all are women's, okay? Y'all, and not even to say, y'all are very fluid in your nature. A lot of Europeans, they, they do a lot, okay? But, um, just to tell the truth real quick, um... Um, shit, where was I? Fuck. Anyway, girl, I gotta wrap this up. This cigarette's almost finished. <coughs> just running my damn mouth. But again, y'all say y'all want longer videos, so here you go. Yeah, girl. He gives a, you know, real submissive in the bed, but very, it's like a power bottom. Because, girl, I don't really like getting ridden, you know, but he rides really good, but he just be slamming on my shit. Like, ah, it feels good, but then I feel my shit about to bend and break, girl. Oh, I would not bend the knee, bitch. <laughs> girl. <clears throat> Ugh. And I fuck with these types of dudes, too, because, like, they're not letting me leave until I achieve. Now, there are moments where I've just been knocking these niggas in for... <laughs> And I'm just like, girl, I done sweated out all the calories for the day that I could, girl. Like, I'm, I'm glad that you, you're feeling this. I'm glad that you're living for this. Um, but there, I'm not gonna lie, there are moments where I definitely had to tap out because I just couldn't... Like, I think it's the same thing for women, too. I think, like, if a nigga, like, stops, or if he's going... You know, I know women, it takes a long time for y'all to achieve your release. So you probably know what it, what, what it feels like to just, like, keep going and keep going. It's just like, girl, he gonna be fucking me all night. And I ain't got time for all that, you know? And for me, it's like, it, it'll, like, be right there at the precipice, girl, hello, God. At the corner, bitch, it'll be right there. But then that, girl, I ain't gonna lie, these two bottoms be testing my limits when it comes. I used to take pride in being able to just go for long periods of time. But there are those moments where I am ready, but it, for some reason, it just doesn't do shit. And I'll be about it. I'm like, girl, y'all taking this, girl. I, I can't do it no more. I really can't. <laughs> Shut me up, bitch, you know? I like that type of shit, too, though. Like, if you make your top tap out and say, oof, oof. But you don't feel fulfilled. Those are real bottoms. They don't feel fulfilled until the top releases onto D. I love that type of energy. That's the type of time that I'm on, and I respect that shit. So I definitely make it my business to, if that brings them pleasure, he's like, no, that's pleasure for me, knowing that you receive that. That's the icing on the cake. And I was like, oof, girl. Let me put this icing on your cake. <laughs> bitch. Anime. And I ain't gonna lie, he's like the only dude, like, I really enjoy, like, you know, eating thine bougie cat. Okay, hello, God. <clears throat> so clean and smooth, and I'll be wearing his ass out with my tongue of life, honey. Hello, God. He be trying to, like, stuff my fuck. Like, I just cannot stand that shit sometimes. Like, <clears throat> when you're good at something, I guess. Girl, I'll be back there, child, going to town. Like I said, serving tongue of life, bitch. And he'll just reach his hand back there and just grab my hand. It's like, uh, uh. Just, I'll be like, oh, my God. I'm just throwing his ass back on my face, girl. I'll be like, girl. <sighs> that shit, in the moment, that shit be turning me the fuck on, though. Like, I love pleasure. Like, I'm sorry. I know I'm not some sex god or whatever. I'm fucking might as well be, hell. 
but like I just really enjoy that shit and I like people who also enjoy you know the result is always gonna come you, you will release onto thee again it's just the icing on the cake or on their cakes you know like the pleasure that happens in between all of that girl y'all be missing out girl that one bam that wham bam thank you man shit I'm sorry girl I can't subscribe to that way of living <laughs> no man pam I love it, girl. Like I said before, girl, if, you're, if, you, if your soul hasn't touched another dimension, girl, if, if you, if you, if you, when you get finished and you can barely walk, let me say something. I caught two Charlie horses. He caught a Charlie horse. Bitch, was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, yeah, you're wearing you the fuck out. Oh, and then afterwards, right, he was like, oh, like, why? How do you go so long? He's like, I'm not complaining or nothing because I definitely ran into one minute men. I get tired. That's why I stopped having sex for a while. He was like, you know, that's again, that's why I keep calling you because, like, you give me what I need, like, for long periods of time. He was like, but how is that possible? And sometimes you don't even be getting yours. And, like, what's up with that? I was like, honestly, like, I've been edging for a long time in my life, so I've low-key been practicing with, without knowing it. And on top of that, like, I look at sex as how I want it. Period. I don't want no, if I'm coming over your crib or you coming over mine or we meeting up or we doing whatever, I don't want to have the, I don't, I want an experience, I don't want instant gratification. So, I know bottoms, y'all want longer, deeper sessions, and that's what the fuck I'm going to provide. And, um, child, I guess that was music to his ears because as I was cleaning myself off, I was still, you know, hard a little bit. And he just got on his knees. He was like, that's music to my ears, daddy. And he just got on his knees and started serving again. I couldn't, you know, do anything after that one. But I let him, you know, serve some neck for a while. You know. <laughs> girl, I know the bitch in 2010. My past life is like, girl, like, how do we get here? Girl, we're here. Accept it. Period. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this. <laughs> uh, this commentary, darling, okay? Be blessed, never stress, but the health is truly wealth. And yeah, take care. Bye.